So there, there are a hundred answers to your question. And I was starting to get invitations from individual organizations that... That's the first step. For people who want to get started with their own business, um, whether they're literally taking the leap and just leaving the security of a horrible full-time job, um, and then doing this part-time, or they're, or, or I mean, or they're doing it full-time, or they're mm -hmm. kind of trying to balance both. Um, what's the best? What What are the questions they should ask themselves? What or what are the the, the answers they should have? So there there are a hundred answers to your question, and if you go to YouTube or Google right now and say, "What should I do? What are the most important things to do when starting a business?" You're going to hear things like, "Well, set up your LLC and get a get your business yeah. cards, get a logo design, you know, make sure you have a website set up." Okay, there is one step <laughs> that is so much more important. You have to sell something. So when I still had my telemarketing job, I had this idea to for website design. I could sell a, a custom website for 500 bucks. I sold it first. I, I advertised on the classifieds and I found a customer. And after I delivered the website to the customer, they were happy. They were pleased. They thought, yeah, this is well worth the 500 bucks I spent. That's the first step. Because then you know, if I would have gone out and gotten my business cards and a website and a logo design and all this stuff first, and I'm spending all this money, spending all this time, but I'm not bringing in any money, right. what if it didn't work? Yeah. What if people didn't like it? What if I had the wrong price? So you have to find something that works first. You have to go to sell. Well, and, and just very quickly, you'd mentioned the work that you were doing with Chris Crone, who was kind of your first, he was your first YouTube client. And as I recall, you said, I, 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 he didn't pay me. I was just a partner. Like it was all done on spec just and to that, see and, if it will work. And admittedly, um, there have been other people that are, that are videographers. They love YouTube and they, they've said, Nate, I want to do what you do. I want to create a company like you're doing a kind of a done for you YouTube service. And I'm like, I don't know if that's realistic. I don't know how, because it took me a couple, at least it took me over two years to build the track record that I could actually sell it. Yeah, yeah. I had my website service and things that allowed me to, to cover myself financially that I could go out and do this experiment that I believed in. Yeah. But, but to quit your job and to start an experiment, that's way too much risk. Yeah, that is probably a dumb thing to propose. Yeah, especially where you have no track record at all. And so I think, that, I think that's key. Uh, if, I remember when I left my first job to, to go off on my own. What was that? Well, it was at OC Tanner. I was, uh, well, that wasn't my first job. No, my first job was another job down in Orem, Utah. And I was the head of public presentations and speaking. And I was starting to get invitations from individual organizations that wanted me to come speak to their people and do presentations for mm -hmm. them. And so I was able to, with a little bit of the freedom I had as being in management, I was able to take time off now and then and go test it and go see if it was a sellable product. You know what I mean? And, and luckily I could tell that it was. But in line with what you're saying is to just jump right in with no track record, no history, no comps, whatever, mm -hmm. <laughs> would have been really stupid. So there is this kind of buzz or this belief of like, um, there's like a startup, like you're gonna get big investors. And it's like, that is so foreign to me. Yeah. I know some people succeed at it, but there's gotta be all the millions of people that we don't see that totally bomb and fail with it. Um, that it just, it's a foreign concept to me. And I don't, I, I think it's like as elusive as a viral video, like to predict and know this video is going to be viral. Yeah. It's like, I don't know, Ooh, we could do this. I could create this system. So your question is Nate, how come you're a hypocrite? No, not a hypocrite. Okay. Should not the master also be the user? I am the best building, building cleaning coordinator.